I don't usually hand out a lot of assignments, but I said, you know what? I like this Penn and Teller piece from nine years ago. And I've actually talked to people on the street that say ban dihydrogen monoxide, which is water. So I said, I would like to see you go out on the street and recreate this. And then I said, next, I want Jakari and David Knight uh, and Darren McBreen and uh, John Bowne and other reporters to go out and say, let's ban uh, sodium chloride. Let's ban uh, carbon dioxide, which they are trying to do, which plants breathe. Because banning water is just as crazy as banning carbon dioxide. People go, well, it has a scarier sounding name. Really, dihydrogen monoxide sounds even scarier than carbon dioxide. And so they went out and she said the vast majority, uh, I mean, she talked to a lot of people, so many we can't even show them all, almost all of them. I think she said one guy came back uh, and said, wait a minute, isn't that water? So here is this report. So about 10 years ago, Penn and Teller set about to prove that some Americans can be really gullible when it comes to saving the planet. And we figured, you know, it's been about 10 years. People are more awake. They're starting to ask questions. Certainly, I couldn't get them to sign this petition to ban dihydrogen monoxide. That's right. I'm going to see if people are gullible enough to ban water. Can I get you to sign my petition? Do I have to read a lot? I'm trying to get them to ban uh, dihydrogen monoxide. It's an additive in certain junk foods. And basically, we're trying to get enough signatures to get them to ban it. Sure. Oh, okay. Awesome. Well, good luck. I mean, if you want to read, otherwise you can just take my word for it. What's the source of the hydrogen monoxide? Where is it coming from? Oh, uh, well, it's a one of the major components of acid rain. It doesn't come off, like, obviously when you go to wash your fruit. It's just everywhere now. We need it out of here. I will help you out. It's now being dumped into lakes, rivers, and streams. Okay. So, of course, with our whole... Um, system, it then gets in the air. Yep. Thank you. It causes excessive sweating, so you might already be suffering from this chemical. DHMO is being dumped into rivers and oceans and streams and town lake. What are you doing? Fill with dihydrogen monoxide! Hydrogen monoxide? Dihydrogen monoxide. Wow, okay. I've never heard of it. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll, I'll look it up. Okay. I'm not going to sign it. Okay. Thank you. I look like I'm up to something, don't I? Hold on, hold on, hold on real quick, Mom. And I'm basically just trying to collect enough signatures to get them to put it on their docket and consider it seriously. Sure. She was on the phone, so apparently, if you if someone's distracted and then you get them to sign something, that works too. They don't typically tell you they're poisoning you. Yeah. If I can get but a I thousand was, signatures, I was a then. Major, so I figured maybe oh, maybe. really? Yeah. Wow. It's been a while, it's been a while though. <laughs> Well then, so, can I get your support? Uh, can I read this? Sure. <laughs> if we can collect enough signatures, then they'll actually take it seriously. Okay. That way you can voice it? Exactly. Okay. Where'd you go to school? Cornell? I did. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. Oh. Symptoms include excessive urination, sweating, bloating, the Environmental Regulatory Committee, should be overseeing it and sort of... Okay. Come on, people! Ten years later, under the guise of saving the planet and you'll still sign anything. Especially if you don't have time to actually read the facts. This was a 300-page paper being passed in Congress. I mean, you'd definitely stop to read what you were signing, wouldn't you? Actually, maybe you wouldn't if you were a politician. Wow, what an incredible report. And it is so important that we get this video out to everybody because despite the fact that Penn & Teller's report was seen by millions on HBO and millions on YouTube, still people say ban dihydrogen monoxide and ban carbon dioxide and ban sodium chloride. I guess Bloomberg is trying to ban sodium chloride salt uh, in New York. Because if the control freak social engineers can get you to accept asinine things, they can get away with anything.